Hi boys and girls, well, my name is Miss Karen and welcome to our Geometry STEM Math program. We're going to have so much fun and what you learn here, you can keep doing this uh, for the next several days afterwards to keep practicing your ge geom geometric <laughs> shapes. I'm going to read you two quick stories and you'll see why there's a lot of shapes in these stories. One is called Seaver the Weaver. Seaver the Weaver. It's written by Paul Sezjik, and the pictures are by the Brothers Hilts. And we thank Mighty Media Publishing for letting us read this to you. Here we go. In the light of the moon, Seaver emerged from his egg. He joined his many brothers and sisters in the wide, wide world. Some began to create their magnificent webs. Others floated away on silken threads as far as the eye could see. Seaver stared in the night sky. He became impressed by the patterns he saw in the stars. Seaver began to weave. He worked by starlight and th through early morning. Satisfied, he sat proudly on his web. What is that? His brothers and sisters added. Hmm, let's see what he made. Oh, that is my triangle said Seaver. That is not an orb. We are orb weavers. We make round webs, not triangles. So you can see here's a shape. It's one side, two sides, and three sides. A three-sided shape is called a triangle. But I like my triangle. It's very unique, Seaver said. If you want to be an orb weaver, your web needs to look like our orbs, our circles. Seaver admired his brothers and sisters' webs. They were round, flawless, but they were empty. They didn't have any bugs. See, a spider web is there for them to catch bugs for them to eat. Seaver his webs were sharp and pointed and shaking from the struggles of the fly. <gasps> See, he caught something, didn't he? I will try harder next time. But first, I must tend to my guest. When the day turned into night, Seaver looked at the stars in wonder. He forgot about the orbs and the circles, and Seaver began to weave. He worked by starlight and through the early morning. Satisfied, he proudly sat on his web. What is that? His brothers and sisters asked. Uh-oh, what did he make this time? It is my square. See, oh, let's count how many sides. One, two, three, four. So a square is a four-sided shape. This is not an orb. We are orb weavers. We make round webs, not squares. But I like my square. It's very unique, said Seaver. If you want to be an orb weaver, you need to make webs that look like ours. Again, Seaver admired his brothers and sisters webs. They were round, they were perfect, but they were untouched by bugs. Seaver's webs were long and angular and vibrating from the struggle of this moth. I will try harder next time, but first I must tend to my guest. Boy, he caught another insect. 
When the stars speckled the sky, Seifer stared into the deep, deep, dark night. He knew he should weave a circle, but the patterns he saw twirling above spoke to him. Seaver began to weave. He worked by the starlight and through the early morning. Satisfied, he proudly sat on his web. What is that? Seaver's brothers and sisters asked. Oh boy, let's see what shape he made. This is my hexagon. Let's count how many sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Almost looks like a beehive, right? Six-sided. This is my hexagon, Seaver said. Oh, that is not an orb. We are orb weavers. We make round webs, not hexagons. But I like my hexagon. It's very unique. If you want to be an orb weaver, your web needs to look like ours. Once again, Seaver admired his brothers and sisters' webs. They were round, pristine, meaning very, very perfect, but they were vacant. They had no bugs in them. Seaver's webs were edgy and rigid and trembling from the grasshopper he caught. Perhaps you are right. I will try harder next time, but first I must tend to my guest. Under the starry night, Seaver sat confused. He knew he should make an orb if he wanted to be an orb weaver. But again, the lights in the sky impressed him and inspired him. So Seaver began to weave. He worked by starlight and through the early morning. Satisfied, he sat proudly on his web. What is that? Seaver's brothers and sisters asked. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it is my web. Look at all these shapes. What shape is in the middle? That's his hexagon right in the middle there. And there is his four-sided square. And he's got triangles over here. So he's got all of his shapes. This is my web. Seaver's web was covered in mosquitoes. And this time he held his head high. I like my web. It is very unique. And it caught the most insects. Well, what do you know? His brothers and sisters say, we agree. We are hoping you could teach us how to weave such marvelous shapes because we are very hungry. And here they all are weaving all different shaped webs and catching all different insects in them. <laughs> that was good. That had a lot of shapes in it, didn't it? And boys and girls, when we're talking about shapes, learning about shapes, we're learning about geography, geometry, geometry. Okay, geometry is math. This next book is called Shape Shift, Shape Shift. And I have a little lesson, I'm, um, I have a little challenge that um, I'll show you in a minute. But this book is by Joyce Hesselberth, and it is published by Christy Ottawano Books. And we thank them for letting us read this book to you. Okay, look at all these shapes here. Can you tell me what shapes there are? You can just shout it out. Oh, I heard a moon. I heard a diamond. What is this shape over here? Oval. Right, this is called a trapezoid. It's four sided, but all the sides, um, or three sides are different uh, sizes. Okay, so let's go on to our story. Look 
around, what shapes do you see? I see a rectangle house, or a square house, excuse me, with a trapezoid roof. Okay, so those, they're straight lines, but this side is different size than this side, and these two ends are the same size. That's a trapezoid. I see a triangle tree. Shapes are all around us. Once you know how to find them, you can use shapes to make anything you'd like. I am a triangle. I am a semicircle. Tap, 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 tap. Let's put our shapes together and see what we can make. Oh, I see a ballerina twirling, spinning, gliding, floating across the stage. See, there's the triangle and the semicircle. <laughs> I see an elephant flying high with a thousand balloons. Up, up, up and away. Let's play again. I am a crescent and I am a trapezoid. Let's put them together. What is this? Hmm. What would you think this is? Do you know? Let's see what the boys and the girls think. Oh, I see an angry bull. See, there's the crescent and there is the trapezoid. I see an angry bull ready to charge. Why are you so grumpy, Mr. Bull? <laughs> I see a slippery fish jumping in the waves. Now let's try this one. I have a rectangle and I have a circle. What do you see? I see a lady with a fancy hat held high. She passes by. I wonder where she's going. Ooh, I see a supercar zooming down the road. Zoom, 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 zoom. Let's try this game. And this one's tricky. Let's try to solve it together. We have an oval and what shape? A diamond and what is this? A square. And what color is the square? Blue, right. Do you know what this could be? Hmm. <laughs> I see a clown upside down. Silly clown. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, what do you see? We see watermelon sweet and crisp. And a perfect day for a picnic. Oh, see all the different shapes. What color, what shape is her dress? It's a triangle. What shape, what shape is her head? A square. All the different shapes in this story. So boys and girls, let me just grab my challenge over here. Okay, so I looked around my house and I found a cup and what shape is this? It's round. And I found this container. And what shape is that? It's rectangle. Okay, one, two, three, four sides. And these two sides are longer, and this side and this side are shorter. So that's a rectangle. And what I did was I made a design. I traced the cup and then I traced my box and I put them together and now I can 
make it into a picture. And so that's my challenge for you. I want you to um, look around your house after, you could do it after we work on the glow sticks or before, but look around your house, see what you have that are different shapes, uh, trace them, and then see what you can make out of this. What would this be to you? And then I want you to take a picture and send me a photograph to my email. My email is Karen, K-A-R-E-N dot O'Malley, O-M-A-L-L-E-Y. So that's Karen dot O'Malley at Persephone Library dot org. And at the end of the video, I will give you another challenge and you can take pictures of that challenge and send that to me too. So I want to hear from everybody that um, what you what your challenges are and what you learned from this lesson. You may not see my face during this part of the vi video, but that's okay. Everybody received a container of glow sticks, right? So you can take off the top and what you're going to do for this portion is we need to get them glowing. So here are ones that are glowing and here are ones that are not. So what you do, grown-ups and kids can be doing this together, is you take a bunch in your hands and you crack them. Don't be worried that you hear it cracking. You want to hear it cracking. And then after you crack them, you want to shake them. Shake them on this side and then shake them on this side. Hold the other end and shake them on that side. So go ahead and do that and then we'll get started with our lesson. All right, now let's get started. Now the fun comes. So you have all your glow sticks on the side. And today, boys and girls and grownups, we are gonna be learning about geometry. Geometry is different shapes you find in math. So this is really a math lesson. And shapes in math have to do with counting. So we're counting up the sides of the shapes that we're making. First, we're gonna start with three-sided shapes. So the first shape we're gonna learn about is an equilateral triangle, an equilateral triangle. So the first part of that word is equal, equal. So this triangle, and boys and girls, how many sides does a triangle have? Can you tell me? Just shout it out. How many sides does a triangle have? If you said three, very good. So I want you to take three yellow glow sticks and we are going to make a triangle. And this is the triangle you would probably think about. It has one glow stick per side. And that means that each side of this triangle equals the other side. So this side of the triangle is the same. You know what, let me get another yellow one. This side of the triangle is the same length as this side of the triangle. And this side of the triangle is the same length as this side of the triangle. So all three sides of the triangle are the same length. They equal, they equal each other. So that is why we call this an equilateral triangle. And if you can't remember what those long words are, just remember this is a triangle. Tri means three. The next triangle we are going to be making, and I want, as we're doing this, I want you to be making the same thing as I'm making. So you made your equilateral triangle with one glow stick on each side. Now we're going to make what's called an isosceles triangle. An isosceles triangle. It's still a triangle. Triangle means three-sided shape. And now what I'm gonna have you do is take 
some pink glow sticks. So grab four pink glow sticks and take two green glow sticks. So I have two green ones and four pink ones. Okay, so now, boys and girls, is this triangle is going to have two red glow sticks on one side, two red or pink, so excuse me, two pink glow sticks on this side. So we have two sides that have two pink glow sticks. And you know what, you only needed one, one green one, I'm sorry. And then you're gonna have one green glow stick on the bottom, okay? So that's a different shape, isn't it? This side is not this equal to this one, right? So this side is this side over here longer than this side down here. Let's count how many glow sticks. That'll help us out. The bottom side has one green glow stick. And the side over here has two pink glow sticks. So this side is longer than this side, the bottom. Well, let's see, is there anything that's the same about this triangle? I think, how many, how many glow sticks makes up this side? Maybe one, two, so two. How many glow sticks makes this side? One, two, two. So an isosceles triangle still has three sides, one, two, three, but it has two sides that are longer than the other, than that one. So this side is long, and this side is long, and this side is short. And that's what we call an isosceles triangle. So those boys and girls are our three-sided shapes in geometry. Now we're gonna get into shapes that have how many sides? One, two, three, four. Four sides. So can you think of a, a shape that has four sides? Just call it out. I can't hear you, but I'm call, I ask you to call it out. <laughs> Just shout it out. Okay, I'm hoping I heard square. This is the word square. And I'm writing these words down so you can see them because the more you're familiar with what the word looks like, the more you're gonna be familiar with some reading. Okay, square. So a square has four sides that are the same. So let's take purple. Let's take four purple glow sticks. All right, four purple ones. Okay, I have four purple ones. And we are gonna make a square. Okay, a square has how many sides? Let's count them. One, two, three, four. All right, so hopefully your square looks like my square. It has four of sides that are the same, are equal. This side equals this side, equals this side, equals this side. So they're the same size. Okay, so we did a square. I think I heard somebody calling out rectangle, rectangle. Rectangle begins with what letter? R, R. You see the R? Rectangle. So a rectangle, let's take, find two more purple ones. I gotta shake this one up a little bit more. Two more purple ones. My purple ones didn't get shaken up too much. So now um, I'm adding two more purple ones and a rectangle, boys and girls, has a long side here and another long side over here. 
and then it has a short side here and a short side here. So your rectangle should look like that. It has a long side and a long side and a short side and a short side. So how about boys and girls, let's see if we can make a longer rectangle. Grab two more purples, okay? Two more purples. See if you can find two more purples. And let's see if we can make even a longer rectangle. So two long sides and add that in and wow so that is still a rectangle boys and girls it has one two three glow sticks on one side one two three glow sticks on the other side and then one glow stick and one glow stick on the ends so it has how many sides let's count how many sides one side two side, three side, four sides. So this is a rectangle and it has four sides to it. Two long ones and two short ones. Okay? All right. You all are doing fantastic. I wanted to go over one more four-sided geometric shape. And this is a word that begins with what letter? P, 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 P. It's a long one. If you don't remember it, that's okay. It's called a parallelogram. And the first part of the word is parallel, parallel. Okay. So parallel means they're going in the same direction. So let's now Let's go back to taking some yellow. Okay, find four yellow glow sticks for me. Okay, four yellow. You know what, we're going to need, take six, take two more. Okay, so you have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's not yellow, that's green. <laughs> so I have six, one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six yellow glow sticks. And now we're going to make a parallelogram. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to put one yellow here and one yellow here and one yellow here and one yellow here. Okay, so it almost looks like it's turning into a rectangle. But now the ends are going to be slanted. Okay? So I'm going to make it a little bit more obvious like that. Like that. So a rectangle would not be this tilted. It's almost it almost looks like a, a, somebody took a rectangle and tipped it over a little bit, right? This side is on an angle. It's not straight, it's, it's an, on an angle, and this side is on an angle too. Okay, so let me make it even more obvious to you. All right, so there we go, there we go. So this is angling, and this is angling, and these sides, up here and up here are straight. So this is a straight line and this is a straight line. And then these two ends are angled and they're all going uh, in the same direction. Like this one is angled, tilted this way, right? It's not straight. If it was straight, it would be like this, It'd be like that. So this one's angled and it's angled going this way. And so this one on the opposite side is also angled. It's going that way. And that's why we call them parallel. There are two lines that are going in the same direction. They're both tilted. 
all right? And then this line right here and this line right here, they're parallel too. They're going in the same direction. Okay, so you all are doing fantastic. I wanted to show you two more shapes before I have a challenge for you. <laughs> I'm gonna be challenging you. Okay, so does anybody know how many sides there are to a stop sign? How many sides do you think there are to a stop sign? Do you know? Well, let's see if we can make a stop sign together and we'll figure this out together. So let's see, can you find some orange ones? Orange glow sticks, as many orange glow sticks as you can find. Find as many orange as you can find. I found one, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? So hopefully you have about eight or ten. Now we're going to make a stop sign. A stop sign, boys and girls, is a sign you see a lot of outside. And what color is a stop sign? It's the same color as my shirt. It's red, exactly. So we're going to put one glow stick over here and one glow stick over there. And we're gonna put one glow stick on the bottom and one glow stick on the top. So none of these glow sticks, boys and girls, are touching, right? I'm gonna move these out so they don't. Okay. So none of these glow sticks are touching, right? I just wanna make it very clear what you see on the camera. Okay, so they're not touching. This one's out a little bit. So now what we need to do is we need to finish the stop sign, but we also need to connect all of these glow sticks. How do you think we're gonna do that? How does that work? Okay, let's see if we can figure it out. How about if we put some glow sticks on an angle that connect these? Okay, there you go. And there you go. And now, boys and girls, we have our stop sign. We may need to just move the middle ones out a little bit. But there we have our stop sign. So let's count how many signs there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight sides and an eight sided geometric shape is called an ah, ah, octagon, an octagon, okay? Octagon means eight-sided shape. So now I have a challenge for everybody. We are gonna go back to triangles. Do you remember how many sides a triangle has? You remember? Okay, a triangle has three sides. Try means three. And so what I want you to challenge you to do is use all of your glow sticks and I want you to make as many three-sided triangles that are connected to each other. So there's one and then I'm going to just make another one right here and then I'm going to make another one right here and then I'll make another one right here. And each time you're making one, boys and girls, you can see I'm only adding two sides. So I'm gonna use this side as one side, and then I'll add two more to make the three sides. So one, two, three. And I want you to use all of your glow sticks and make as many triangles as you can. Come back and I'll show you mine 
and we're going to count our triangles. And I think there's going to be more triangles than you realize. So that's your challenge to do right now, and then we'll get back on. So stop the video, do your challenge, and then start again, and we'll count and see how many triangles we can make. All right, boys and girls, we're back. Wow. Yours probably looks a little bit different than mine, and I hope it does, because I hope each one of our designs is made a little differently. But they're all made up of little mini triangles. Did you count how many are in your design? Let's count how many are in my design, and then we'll see. All right, we'll count one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Twenty-seven little mini triangles. Wow. But is that really all? Hmm. Do you see any bigger triangles made up of those little triangles? Well, let me give you an example. Let's see if I can take some of my paper here and show you. So we can take this side that's made up of two and this is made up of two glow sticks and this is made up of two glow sticks. So there's a larger triangle made up from the smaller triangles. So you can see this is two, this is two, this is two, and so on. There's a lot more triangles, boys and girls, than you realize in your design. There's a lot of little triangles, but some of those little triangles put together make up a bigger triangle. And then do you see any other shapes? Do you see any parallelograms? So let's take this side over here. So we have this, a parallelogram. Do you remember what a parallelogram is? A parallelogram has four sides. And then remember, we've talked about being parallel. So we have two sides that are going in one direction and two sides that are going in the other direction. So here's one side and here's the other side. So these two sides are going in the same direction. And then, because they're a little bit slanted, and then we have another side and another side. So it's a square four sides, one, two, three, four, but each side, each of those sides is tilted a little bit. And I don't know if you can actually see it here necessarily, but you'll see it on your design. So boys and girls, what I want you to do is I challenge you. I'm gonna come so you can see me. <laughs> I wanna challenge you to making a design with your glow sticks and then emailing me what your design is and telling me what shapes are in your design. I, you know, the glow sticks are great. They're fun to use. They're great to have around the house at night, but really this is a lesson to learn your geometry math because you're going to need that when you go to school, right? And so I want you to practice with these glow sticks and make a design Tell me what shape it is, and then um, how many, if you use, if you're doing, if you're putting shapes together like we just did, like right here, tell me how many shapes are in there. And, or you can make one big one. You can make one gigantic uh, equilateral triangle, which has the three sides that are all the same. Make a big giant one and email it to me. Don't forget to email me. I want to see an email from everybody showing me what you learned from this geometry lesson. Bye, everybody. Have fun.